Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make hook only rainbow loom doll shoes. They look like this. You'll notice this is not a Barbie doll, this is a live doll, which is what they were made for is because they don't fit in Barbie doll shoes, but they do fit on a Barbie doll. They're just a little tiny bit big, but they fit fairly well. But I made them for live dolls because I got live dolls from thrift stores because they have good articulation and lots of parts of them and their good knees and stuff and their ankles but they don't fit in Barbie doll shoes they fit in Barbie doll clothes as you can see but not in the shoes so I made them some sho I made them some shoes but they do fit Barbie doll but one side note they do not fit the DC superhero girls they don't fit their feet their feet are just a little too big they like to fit but the bands might break. So just don't try. Besides, my besides, these have really nice shoes that stand up on their own. But so these are for live dolls and Barbie dolls. And don't try to make these if you only have DC superhero girls because they won't fit. So first, you're gonna need bands. Oh, because it's a hook only design. One C clip, which I have right here, and. I have a pattern I wrote down for the last one on my tablet, but I'll just follow along and I'll show you how to do it. First, you're going to take a band. Now this is sort of like crocheting with rubber bands, which is why you need a C-clip, which is your stitch marker. So you're going to take your band and make it pink this time. One, two, so it's two loops. Make it three loops, like that. Like that. Now take a band. Pull it through all these and then go like this. Now go back through those loops. If you already know how to like crochet with bands or just know how to crochet, this will be easier for you. Go back through that loop, those loops. Pull a band through these loops that you for your first band, but not through this one. And then go like that. Now take this one. Pull it through the other two. Like that. Now go back in this. That's two band that's two loops. Make sure you get all three loops of your first band on your hook. That's two bands. You have to do six of these. Now go take it. Pull it through those three loops from your first band. Put this back on your hook. Pull this band through these two. Lay them off your hook. Now go back into that band. This is how many bands? One, two, three. We need three more. Take this band, pull it through. Focus camera. Pull it through your little cap thing. Put this back on your hook. Pull this one through these two. Like that. That is one, two, three, four. Go back through those three bands. Let me reverse your three loops in your first band. Focus camera. Pull a band through those three. Put it back on your hook. Pull this band, first one by your hook closest to your hook, through the other two. Now how many has been? One, two, three, four, five. One more for this part. Take your band, pull it through the center three loops. Pull this one through these two. Like that. Now you're going to want your C-clip so you can remember that this was the last ditch of your of this row. So you remember where to stop when you get all the way around. Now the pattern next pattern should move to, to go around this three times. So we're going to go in. If you look at this. You see this? Do you see that little V right there? This thing? I'll show you. This set of bands right here. But put your hook in there. Put your hook in there, take your band, pull it through that, put it back on your hook, goes like that, and like you did before, pull this one through these two. Might be a bit tricky. Now you're going to the next one. Right here. Oh, this camera. Right there. Go through those. Make sure you get both little sides of the band. Pull this through this, back on your hook, 
and then pull the fur this band closest to your hook, this part, through the other two. Now go in the next one. Take a band, pull it through, put it back on your hook, and pull it like that. Next one. Take a band, put it through there like I did, pull it through, back on your hook, pull it through the other two. Just two more for this row. Put it through, pull the band through it, put it back on your hook, and like this. If you don't know what I'm doing, go find a video on basics of, I think it's called Lumi Gurumi. It's like, it's like the crocheting, but with bands, we'll call it Lumi Gurumi because it's like loom bands. So one more for this row. And then you take the band, pull it through this little, little set of bands. Back on your hook, pull this one through these two. And now, you'll take the C-clip off the band it was already on, from the last row, and put it on the band that is on your hook right at the moment. And now you did the first part, and now you did one row. You need to do this two more times. I'll do it with you. So here's you. Remember, if you have a hard time remembering what row you're on of the set of three, what I like to do is take a band and then just put it on part of my finger like that. I do it on my pinky finger because it's too tight on my other fingers. Focus camera. Focus. Focus. Why aren't you focusing? There, that's one that's one that's one row. Now go and see we're we ready? Did this one on this one. So we wanna go in this one. Right here. And take a band. Now, these are called stitches. Let's see now. Pull this through. Put it back on your hook. Pull this through this. Go through the next one. If you look, you can kind of see. You see these funny little ones right here? Like that, and like that, and like that. That's what you want to go in. Go in. Pull band through. And pull it off like that. Go in the next one. Pull the band through. And pull it through the other two parts. Hope you can see this well enough. Understand what I'm telling you. Put your hook through. Pull your band through. Pull it like that. Pull that part through those two. Put it in there. Pull the band through, all the way. Put it on your hook, pull that through those. Now last one, for this row. Pull the band through, put it back on your hook, pull it through. And take the C-clip off this and put it on this band. And now, if you're counting the way I am, take another band, and put it on your pinky. Or you could even stick the bands on your doll's leg if you wanted. You don't want to put my finger. Just to remember. That's easier. Cause I can remember. It's just easier to, re to be to like, oh yeah. Because just make sure I'm remembering right. Because sometimes I wonder if I actually did it all right. Now as you notice, the more rows you do, the more this wants to close up. Just make sure you find the opening and stuff. Keep it like that. Now one more row. Remember we went in this one already. I should have close. We went in this one. So we want to go in this one. You go in. Pull your band through. Put it back on your hook. Pull it through. In. Pull your band through. Put it back on your hook. Pull it through. In, pull band through, put it back on your hook, and pull it through. Oops, don't drop it. Like that. Go in, pull your band through, put it back on your hook, and pull it through. Bam. 
hook in, pull your band through, back on your hook, and go through the other two. One more for this row. Band hook in, pull your band through, back on the hook, pull through. Now, put this C clip on the bands on your hook. Now you can take your bands off your finger or wherever you kept them. Now, this is where it'll get a little different and a little tricky to remember and stuff and do this. So pay very close attention because this is going to be a little different than normal. So now, you're going to have to actually count your stitches, not just go around to your next to your stitch marker. Okay? So you're going to go in to the next stitch over like you did in the last row. Focus. And just crochet into it or whatever it is like, this, like you always do. And then do it. So that's one. And you gotta do five of these. Instead of six, like you always do, just do five. One. Two. Go into the next one. Pull your band. Back on your hook. Pull it through. Three. Through. Now this part's fairly simple. It's the next part. Four. And last one for this row right now. Five. Now this time you just leave your C-clip right where it is. When you're done with this stitch, just leave it right where it is because that will help you remember. Now this is a little weird for this, but this is how I make the opening on the top right here for the foot to go in. is like this, because you so you're not going to stitch in that one place. Go back. You're going to take it. You've really been going this way around, like this. Now you're going to go back this way. So you don't, you don't go in that one place. So you take your hook. If you usually have it like this, you're going to turn it and go like this and work this way. You're going to go back into the stitch. You just, see this stitch right here? It's on my hook, okay? The one right here next to it. Focus camera. Right here. Right next to it. And take a band and stitch through it just like normal. And then go in the next one. It's going to be a little weird because you're stitching backwards technically, but just do it and it'll work. That's the next one. That's two. You only want to do five this way, too. Three. Actually, you only do four in this one, I forgot. Because that one, first one you did... You didn't stitch back into, so you only do four this way. Just like that. Now, you can take the C clip off. You can leave it on to make, to make it easier, but you don't have to. Now you're going to take your hook, put your hook, you know how you usually would go back and you go through this stitch and crochet into it? Put on your hook, but don't crochet into it. Then just put the next one on, like you're going to crochet into it, but just leave it there. And the next one, and the next one. You should have all your little last stitches from the last row be on your hook. Like that. It's kind of a mess, but you'll get the point. And now, you're going to take your hook like this. Take one more band. Pull it through all the stuff on your hook. All of these bands on your hook. Pull it on this one band. All of it. Just trust me. All of it. And put the other band out of the on your hook, like that. Now, you're going to take the both ends, do a slip knot, and pull it tight. And you want to stretch out the heel and make it more like a heel. And now you can definitely take out your C-clip, because it's just going to get in your way. Also, you don't want a C-clip to sit in your doll shoe. And you take this band, and make sure you pull it as tight as you can. You don't want your shoe to come apart. And then you just kind of just tuck it in however you do, however you feel like it. Just hide it so that it doesn't stick out weird. I usually just pull it in and let it go inside the shoe and then you never see it. So there's your shoe. So here, I'll put it on this doll. There. Just follow the tutorial again to make the second one. That's what it looks like. And remember, it fits live dolls and it can fit Barbie dolls. But it's meant design, it was designed for live dolls, so it fits them better. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below 
if you want me to make more stuff for dolls, because I can. And subscribe. Bye!